Well, good day, Curd Nerds. Welcome to day 14 of the Cheese Today Challenge. Today, something special. I've managed to get my hands on a feta, and this is real feta from Greece. PDO, it's got the little designation and everything, protection, protected designation of origin. Um, and it says on here, it's uh, number one feta in Greece. So this is by uh, Dadini. Uh, and you can see that and let's have a look what's it say on the back what's it got in it pasteurized sheep and goat's milk salt uh, starter culture rennet contains milk moisture content 56 percent fat in dry matter 43 percent minimum uh, keep refrigerator once open uh, sorry once open keep refrigerator i think it should be refrigerated all the time i would think it's only in this plastic packaging um so it says it's made in Greece. Um, where exactly? It says Ionina. Yeah, I O A N N I N A in Greece. There you go. So, authentic feta. Not like those knockoffs that say feta style or anything I've ever tried to make. Uh, so, it's in a nice little plastic packet. I don't know how much moisture is in there much brine they pack with it oh, it's not too bad perfect in salads but or any way you want your feta let's just yeah there's a bit of moisture there all too oozing out everywhere oh my god <laughs> i wanted to keep it oh let me just sort this out so there's our nice slab of feta. Normally you'd cut it into cubes, put it on say a Greek salad or something like that. Um, but smell, let's have a look. Smells milky and smells salty. Um, if you can do a salty smell, yeah, I'm sure you can. All right, normally it's cut into cubes, so use the, the, use the trusty cheese knife here. And it's crumbly. Um, as a good feta should be. See, so yeah, I just pressed it and it just falls apart. Um, let's try a bit without the cracker first. Mmm. Oh my goodness. How can I describe that? Um, consult the wheel. A um, little bit acidic, um, definitely salty, not overly so. Um, yeah, nice, a, a, a lovely umami flavour. Um, yeah, a little bit, it's not sour, it's more acidic. Oh, so good. Um, definitely taste the... A little bit of goatiness there. It's more sheep's milk. I think the normal, uh, the PDO standard says it has to be at least 70% sheep's milk and 30% goat's milk. Uh, so yeah, you can definitely taste and it's quite, it is quite creamy, not not as in runny creamy, but there's a, there's a fair bit of fat in there. Um, and as it says in the packet, it was like 43% fat. Um, so yeah, really, Mm. It is beautiful. That is delicious. Delicious. Real feta. Goodness me. Doesn't taste anything like the knockoffs that you buy in the supermarket. The ones that say feta style or feta made in Australia or anything like that. Certainly got its own flavour. Now I know these are matured in brine uh, in oak barrels for quite a long time um, and that's how they get their unique flavour. <clears throat> um, but they are beautiful. Now the, the only cheese that I've made that compares with this is the the real Greek feta video that I made and I actually did use uh, sheep's milk, 70% sheep's milk and 30% goat's milk. And that turned out similar to this, not exactly like this, but this has got a flavor of its own. That is really, really good. 
Um, I can see why Greek salads are so popular, um, especially, you know, with the drizzle of olive oil and the like, and the leaves and the, you know, bits of tomato and cucumber and stuff like that. Beautiful. Um, it would be an amazing, and olives, of course, Greek salad. You can't have a Greek salad without olives. And all those flavours combined with the feta would just make one amazing salad. So real PDO feta. That is one of the best fetters, probably the best feta I think I've ever tasted. So yeah, uh, there's probably better fetters out there in Greece, but here in Australia, this is the only PDO version of feta that I could get my hands on. So quite an amazing little cheese, something so simple, something that we're all used to um, seeing, certainly here in Australia, feta's been part of the tradition since uh, a lot of Greeks came over uh, after the after World War II uh, and settled as uh, what they called New Australians and introduced feta to the masses. So uh, real Greek feta, beautiful cheese, absolutely delightful to taste. Today has been a spectacular cheese, uh, feta, PDO feta from Greece, uh, the real deal, and it is stunning. It's a lovely cheese uh, and it perfect. Perfect for Greek salad, of course. Uh, if you want to see how I made uh, real Greek feta, then you check out the video in the end card or the info card. Well, thanks for watching, Curd Nerds, and I'll see you next time.